Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is a review of the new Jacobite uh, Steam Train add-on by Jefferson2001. I believe this has just come on the marketplace. Here she comes. So it's a steam train for a low price of £6.69. I believe this cost me, or the equivalent in your own money, for Xbox and PC Microsoft Flight Sim. As you can see, fully animated steam train with the steam coming out the top there. Fantastic. Hope you can hear those noises. They sound fantastic. And look at her. Oh, if you're a steam train lover, you're going to absolutely fall in love with this one. Something to bear in mind before I get into the video properly. Uh, this is not a controllable steam train. It's AI driven. Something you're going to have to bear in mind. Something I'll be pertaining to in the video as well. And it covers three miles of tracks. And it's added a couple of POIs in this on this track as well. So I'll be talking about that as well. If you're a steam train lover, you're going to find lots of traction with this one. Listen, let's not dilly-dally. Look at that. Let's get on with this video. Okay, if you're going to buy this add-on, a couple of things to know. It does recommend that you type in Glenfinnan. There you go, Glenfin will do. And go, just click on the viaduct there. And it will take you to the area. Let's lighten this up a bit, shall we? Lighten up, <laughs> take you to the area where the steam train runs around. Runs around these three points, Glenfin and Viaduct to the railway station. We'll be taking a look at all these. And Glenfin and Monument, and it travels between the three. There's a helipad in between there, and that's what it recommends. Get in a helicopter, and, you, you know, you set us departure from there. I'm going to be using drone cam mainly to uh, spot this steam train and look at it. What it also says you need to do is to have the UK world update installed. Was that world update 3? So have that installed because I believe it adds the Glenfin and Viaduct and these POIs I believe are added by the product itself which is nice. So we'll set us departure on the helipad and let's go fly. Okay, so as we're just following the steam train, the Jacobite steam train here along its journey. So it will go between three different points of interest as I showed you on the world map there. Uh, we're just seeing it come back towards the viaduct here. Now, as I mentioned before, it's, it, this is not a controllable steam train. Bit of a miss trick there currently in the state of uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. Let me just slow my drone cam down. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller again to control my drone cam. That's a bit better. So we're not zooming ahead. And let's just get down to the steam train itself. Bit of a missed opportunity. It would be nice to have them both combined. Flight Sim and Train Sim World. Well, you know, you can jump in a helicopter or aircraft. Stop at a train station or land at a train station or nearby. Then jump in a train, travel up a track. I don't know if that's even possible with the... Let's get up to this side to watch this beautiful steam train pass us by. Don't know if that's possible with the current state of the trim. Uh, sim, rather. But it would be nice to see that in the future. Let's just concentrate on the modelling here of the steam train. Because I think that's, this is where the beauty lies. I believe it's exceptional. Look at it a different way, chaps. You know, you can pay £20 for an airport add-on. Look around that. You can do the same thing here. Only you're looking around a moving steam train. Except with wonderful sounds and modelling there. There we go. We'll let it pass by. Let's watch all the carriages. Just so you can see what you get included. And for the low price of, what, £6.69, you know, you can spend as much on a cup of coffee in uh, Costa Coffee, couldn't you? <laughs> I just think that's wonderful. 
And I'm not sure if it's uh, got a default, you know, if it, the AI will control its speed and it will stop in certain places. I have noticed, and I'll probably show you this in this video, just so you can see what happens. It will get to a certain point and then disappear off the map. I'm not quite sure what's going off on there. And maybe it will respawn back at its starting position. So something to bear in mind, it may once again be a limitation of the actual sim itself. So it will go along here fine. But then I think it will just stop at a certain point. Oh, listen to those noises. And respawn at its starting position, I believe. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, if you're a steam train lover, this one could be right up your alley. I'm going to slow my speed down quite a lot on my drone cam. There we go. And speed her back up slowly. Just so we keep pace properly off this steam train. That's a bit better. Yeah, modelling. Modelling wise, let's get towards that the gas uh, coal is it the gold coal hopper there behind the engine and the little chappy in his little cabin there oh look at that <laughs> so there you go I've got perfect pace off the steam train can we see him control a couple of things what a view that is hey travel along with it now they do recommend you jump in your helicopter and track it that way so if you're a helicopter fan Again, I've done one or two flights and we did a live stream flight in a helicopter. I'll link that down below for you. <laughs> but I'm not too au fait with helicopters. I need more practice to keep pace with this steam train. But that's one thing you could be doing. And again, next to nothing on the price wise, isn't it? You know, £6.69 or the equivalent in your money. And, you know, if you're a fan of this particular version, the Jacobite steam train, you probably jumped at this or will be jumping at buying this already. Look at that. Keeping perfect pace with that. That's brilliant. So we'll see if it stops along here or if it disappeared like last time. I'm going to try and stick with the carriage itself here just to see its journey. And this will give you an idea of what you're going to get. Now, this is a station of some sort. There we go. Try and keep my camera steady. It's a bit difficult, this, with drone cam, but I'm just about managing it. Uh, let's take you on a classic st steam train journey, shall we? Uh, we'll do this for a bit, and I'll give you my conclusion and thoughts. There you go. Is he going to stop here? I don't know if they do stop at these sta stations or whether they... Oh, there's one... Another train coming that other way. Now, is that default with the sim? Not... Oh, wow. There's even voices as well. This is why I believe it disappears. Let's keep track of this train to see what happens to it. However, it just disappears from... See, it goes under... Yeah, it goes underground. It goes underground there. Uh, what's going on? Does it come out the other side? Sorry about the camera work here, but I just want to keep track of what's happening. There's the engine part. So <laughs> it's gone fully underground. Uh, it stopped, hasn't it? It stopped, and that's where I believe it will stop and then respawn on its journey. I've not found the uh, origin point for this yet. But I believe while we're here, this is one of the POIs added with this. So you're getting a POI, points of interest, scenery addition with this as well, which is nice. Is that train added with that? You've got a couple of carriages there. A couple of folks on the station there as well. Oh, animated as well. Uh, are you in the wrong place, my friend? Shouldn't you be at an airport? <laughs> the guy in the high fizz jacket there. Maybe he's travelling to the next airport. Who knows? That's kind of nice, isn't it? So that's Glen Fillin Station. Come down a little bit, Hoddison. I know you get the ad. There we go. Glen Fillin Station. Uh, there we go. 
So, okay, final thoughts and conclusion, recommendation, that type of thing. Is it worth getting? Well, it's not perfect. It is a bit flawed. Now, I've got the UK World Update installed, and this has added a couple of points of interest. I'll show you another one in a moment, just to show you the, the complete package here. I've shown you the train station. It's added another point of interest as well. But it seems to appear around this point, I've just been following it and doing a bit of research on this, it will appear around this point, point and then travel that track to the train station just beyond where it disappears on the ground and the train coming the other way will follow this track uh, in the other direction <laughs> and once that gets to that point this train will appear so it's a shame it's not like a full circuit and you can watch it do a full circuit it will disappear and then respawn around this point now let me just see if I can find this so that's a bit of a caveat there. There it is. Here's the other point of interest. Now this is the helipad. The Glenfinnan. Glenfinnan helipad. Where I've got my bell sat there as you can see. Just beyond that. Let's just speed up a little bit. You've got the Glenfinnan monument. Which is another added point of interest with this package. So there we go. We'll take a closer look at this. There you go, a little figure atop a tower there. Anybody from this part will know more about this. It's nice to see that in as well, isn't it? I mean, listen, you can pay more for an airport, much more for an airport add-on. And those can be hit or miss sometimes. For £6.69, if you like steam trains, you want to see a couple of points of interest in the sim as well. Or you get a couple of points of added interest. There you go, the steam train going over the viaduct in the, in the distance there. Yeah, I'd say go for it. Silly money to pay for this. A cup of coffee can cost just as much in one of the expensive cafes around. So for £6.69, I'm going to give it a recommendation. Bit of a, bit of a caveat is that it will disappear and reappear along the track. It would have been nice to see it doing a full circuit. But there you go, I'm quite enjoying it and I don't feel I've spent a fortune uh, to see it either. But do let me know your thoughts down below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I'll be seeing you soon.